The Hagerstown Aviation Museum has a collection of historic aircraft built mostly by Fairchild in Hagerstown, including three PT-19 World War II era flight trainers. Museum pilot Larry Pedersen is going to take the Maryland Secretary of Commerce, Kelly Scholes, for a flight as part of a tour to help her better understand the needs and plans of the museum. Okay, this is going on my around your neck, okay. Because all around us is about 110 mile an hour wind, so you got to you got to stay behind the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> We've had people we give rides. They go, hey, there's a good picture of a cell phone, guys. <laughs> I'm not bringing my cell phone. Oh, that's pretty good. Tintype photographer Rob Gibson is on hand to document the event with his vintage Graflex camera. Secretary Scholz is one of hundreds of museum supporters who have flown in this open cockpit plane. The collection began in 1999 with a donated biplane, and then a flying boxcar was saved from the scrap heap when local donations bought it at auction. In 20 years, the collection has grown to over 20 planes. The planes are kept in various hangars and locations around the airport and are brought out for scheduled events. The museum is in need of a permanent venue to display and preserve the planes and other artifacts. The space would also double as a regional event center. I thought that I would be really nervous while I was up there and uneasy, but instead I got up there and it was so relaxing. You were able to look down and look at the beautiful vistas. It's a gorgeous day. It was a nice breeze. Um, everything is so green and lush out looking out through the valley. So uh, there was no anxiety or nervousness at all. I trusted the pilot. I think that's what we have to do. I think everybody should do it at least once and they should just call to see if they can get a ride in Miss Kelly. How's that? How does it feel to have a plane named after you? That's um, cool. Yeah, like never thought I would ever have that happen in my lifetime, but it, it's really sweet and it's nice and it's um, a part of history. Um, to, it's an honor to be a part of what has gone on with this plane since World War II and, and knowing how much they care about their, their craft and the history of their craft. It's, it's pretty impressive. Any thoughts on the museum's uh, the museum's plan and, and what they want to do? Well, I think it's a it's it's a great plan. I explained to her that uh, you know the museum has a lot of dedicated members and we have a lot of nice assets that right now we're trying to take care of and house. They need to be kept inside, and uh, that's our number. I think our number one goal is to find a home for these things. Uh, and I explained to her that this airplane right here is earning its keep and paying a lot of the, the monthly hangar rent that we have to pay for. And, uh, and it you know falls under uh, FAA's uh, flight experience ride. So uh, I've never had a passenger that didn't like it or didn't have a great time and get, got out of the airplane with a smile on their face. Great job. I swear, it was so smooth. He tried to get me to fly it a little bit. You were flying it. I didn't have my hands on the controls. <laughs> <laughs>